What's going on, Toxic Gamers and Call of Duty Refugees? We are so back with the Call of Duty situation, man. So you see this operator, right? This is a person behind the operator. They had a meltdown. We're actually gonna show you guys that video as well. And the situation is kind of wild. Of course, the Concord situation. Sony shut down Concord, guys. Like the video if you think that's kind of sad right now. Like the video if you love your mom and like the video if you think they're two genders. Dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders. We had a massive upset with this and of course like the BBC Samurai situation That's like another topic for another day, but salute to Captain BBC as always you guys always say like you skizzle You forgot to salute and all that. I, I got you guys. Okay, but shout out to the homie John check this out roll it last week we reported that call of duty black ops 6 is going completely woke which i think was getting suppressed it was kind of a weird thing i didn't see a lot of talk about the story anywhere and i wouldn't say completely woke though but part of it is woke right especially with the operator and all that right and, and yeah bro we're talking about the game being set in the 90s we didn't have we didn't have crap like that back then like and, uh, our views on it just were weirdly low so something is happening uh, with what's going on with this game where they don't want this information to come out now as we did this uh, of course uh, the actor came out and did some crazy video on tiktok defending the fact that they're non-binary this isn't about a game it's about being seen and heard very weird stuff and we'll get into the news in just a moment please hit the like and subscribe it's about the game, bro. It should be about the game. Because this is a game. It should be about the game. It should be for the gamers. Simple. Simple. If it's really about it's be uh, it's about being seen and heard as a brown man, where is my representation at? Where is my representation? As a brown man, I demand my representation too. Bruh, what the hell? It's about being seen and heard. Bruh, like that, that's, that's man man we're talking about the 90s bro we're talking about the 90s man we didn't have crap like that you did not need to be in the game bro what the hell or Subscribe. a sis sister or bro i'm not sure uh if it's a brother that became a sister or a sister that became a brother button everybody and sign up for fandom pulse this is our sub stack right here where we actually write the articles uh, that a lot of the youtubers are using out there and okay. uh, i would appreciate you for uh, coming in on a paid subscription and helping us uh, do the media without having to worry about ads or advertising revenue because we get a lot of problems uh when we do other things we're, we're trying mm -hmm. things out on the sub stack yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to try to get things going and i appreciate everybody who uh, is helping us uh, kind of relatable kind of relatable so it makes sense uh, actually sense. do our jobs here uh, by making sure we can get paid to do so thank you so mm -hmm. much it's in the description below and uh yeah let's get into this guys Shout all right so yeah. um actor kimber london a voice actor who claims to be non-binary and voices the character of volta rossi in call of duty black ops 6 uh defended the inclusion of so-called non-binary character claiming it isn't about a game it's about being seen and heard it's always we about know, being seen we know. <laughs> yeah we know man we've been known for a while because like we're talking about black ops 6 being set in the uh, the 90s and yeah the game is actually quite like decent i would say that you know black ops 6 is quite decent for a four years it's they took four years to make this game right for four years it's not impressive but the game is i you know the game is i zombies is all right as well it's not uh, as good as black ops 2 zombies or even black ops 3 zombies that came out a decade ago black ops 3 specifically came out in 2015 but black ops 2 came out uh 2012 so it's been more than a decade ago and black ops 3 close to being a decade as well right so zombies is not as good as those games but it's actually very decent though it is very and, uh, and i'll be honest bro the game is quite decent minus the bad maps and multiplayer and uh, people, some people are finding skill based matchmaking to be quite bad, others not so much, so that's kind of like a debatable. But outside of these three things, right, like skill based matchmaking, bad maps uh, for multiplayer, and zombies not being up to par as like Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 zombies, otherwise the game is quite decent, I'll be honest with you guys, right? But maybe this is the honeymoon phase. You also gotta factor in the game just came out. So a week from now, two weeks from now, month from now, six months from now, the opinions will surely change for people, uh, for myself as well. The opinions will change. And, and yeah, this game did not need to have any crap like that because of course it's gonna hurt the sales in some way, for sure, guys. Like, let's be realistic. We're talking about Call of Duty. Uh, and also another factor here is that they're not necessarily pushing the agenda down people's throat too much i'll be honest but yes it seems like that this person the actress or the actor behind uh, i guess the voice actress and the 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 operator actress i guess it's a sister that that want to become a brother okay if that's the case welcome to the brotherhood i guess welcome to the brotherhood man i, I don't know man <laughs> and In that's Black Ops I, I remember they came out with a comic uh a couple years ago 
and uh, they were talking about pronouns and the like and the use of them. And, and there was and it, the, the character actually just had a dialogue bubble, which, uh, you know, when, when somebody used their Zezer pronouns or whatever it was, said, uh, I feel seen. <laughs> I just can't get that out of my head anytime I see this stuff. So ridiculous. These people are absolutely insane. And as a brown man, I I am not being seen. You know? I'm not being seen. That's that's sad, guys. That is sad. I want to be seen too, you know? I want to be seen too. I'm joking around, by the way, guys. For two people, don't take it literally. I'm not dying for representation. If it's natural, if it's organic, makes sense, then you do it. You don't force it. You make it natural. You make it organic. You think about the story... First, you think about, and in this case, you think about the game first, then all of this woke bowl squash, man. You know, you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna, if I had the ability, I would delete the operator in the game, bro. Like, to be fair. It was revealed in a blog post by the game publisher Activision that the character Volta Rossi uses their and them pronouns rather than he or she. It's probably because they're demonically influenced in that way. Because, you know, their means multiple. So he's got to have multiple personalities if that's the case. Okay. In a brief How description, many How many the character people? the blog post stated a street smart rogue with a hood, a blue blood pedigree. Volta Rossi is an enigma who left the comfort of the aristocracy to forge a new name as human specialist. Their ties Rare. to the Zotti family give them a unique insight into Avalon. So stunning and brave here. Yeah. Obviously a woman and a mentally stunning. ill one at that. I, I don't know why people go and do this. Okay, it seems like that it's a sister that joined the Brotherhood. Okay, I guess welcome to the Brotherhood. <laughs> welcome to the Brotherhood. Sort of thing at this point. Melanie Mack actually ch chimed in on it, and much what I said I said, This is demonic. God created male, male and female. You are one or the other. You cannot be both. You cannot be between. You cannot be the opposite of what you were born and what your biology is because that's just reality. And that's it. She said, With this game, it's indoctrinating people. It's trying to normalize this demonic activity, and they want to accept demonic ideology. It's evil. It's evil. And that's exactly what I said as well. So, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like the video if you love God, guys. Like the video if you love God. I love God, though. I love God. Uh, this person like made a TikTok God. video, and uh, what was God. great is is they actually, she, not they, I'm, why would I do that? She actually, uh, in the TikTok video, highlighted my video. Uh, she had me up at the top there, along with Melanie Mack. I'm honored uh, to be in that uh, that list, so thank you, Kimber London. I appreciate the uh, the advertising. Hi, that's me. I'm Kimber London, a professional model that Activision hired to become Volta Rossi, and I've waited two years for this moment. To everyone saying they won't buy the game because of this character, ask yourselves, why is inclusion so threatening? It's just obnoxious, because it is just like validating your mental illness london is really what's going on and hey, you're out whoa, whoa, hey. tranquilo papi tranquilo 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 guys 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 uh if you guys uh, have instagram i would definitely love to have you there also feel free to become a member on the channel so the day we get cancelled we can live to fight another day you feel what i'm saying i right, let's get back to the content here boo boo there, of course, trying to manipulate children and teens into these lifestyles where it's a weird sexual fetish. Exactly. And we just don't want that. And we don't want that in our faces. It's okay exactly. that we don't want that in our faces. There's yeah. no reason we should have it in our faces full time. Yeah, you go be strong, independent, but you don't need to be pushing that on the kids and on us, right? Yeah, like, l come on, man. Like, damn. Am I pushing crap on you? Do you see other people pushing crap on you? No, right? Like, why you gotta push, like, crap on other people? Damn, what we'll be talking about? It's ridiculous, and uh, and the fact that you demand it is is ab absolutely absurd at this point. And uh, trying to gaslight us that there's some other problem that that we're actually a problem for saying we don't want this in front of us and our children is the most insane thing I can ever think about. The actor then revealed Activision specifically wanted a non-binary actor to play the character. Of course, of in course. In 2022, my agent called me and said Activision was looking for a non-binary individual to become this character. Yeah. Later in the video, London said, so, "So we all know the Call of Duty fan base. I was prepared for some hate. Oh yes, you're the victim here because yeah. you're trying to indoctrinate." everybody with your weird gender ideology they always play victim when they do this kind of thing yeah what i wasn't prepared for was this level of ableism misogyny sexism queer phobia and the amount of quasimodos and slots i would find on twitters i have no words quasimodos yeah the toxic gamers just say toxic gamers right why man these things are always like phobic 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 they want to be phobic 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 and all that misogyny you want to know what's real misogyny you want to know what let me actually show you guys this is this is misog this is misogyny this is misogyny that they're uglifying female characters. Larry Croft, Lara Croft, Lara Croft was turned into Lorenzo. This is what Call of Duty did to Lara Croft in their own game. And of course, we saw the uh, Tomb Raider new Lara Croft show character, right? They made him, they gave him the Abby, the Brock Lesnar treatment from The Last of Us 2. And this is like Lara, Lara design. And they're like, 
there's being sexist they're being misogynistic towards women right they always do that they always uh make my queens look like godzillas and they look they make them look like king kongs in the video games <laughs> what are we talking about the these suckers are the ones who make uh females look bad and make no mistake these people also use lgbt people as shields too though these suckers question okay if you're part of the lgbt community watching this okay or you're part of that community or like a day then whatever right like i got no issues you do you you do you but hey don't be like shoving trash and crap down other people's throat bruh but ask yourself this okay think about it cool your cool your brain for a second okay think about this why do these suckers these companies i'm talking about why do these suckers make you guys look and feel ugly in their movies and video games just think about it they they don't like you suckers too man they don't like y'all y'all they always would make you guys look ugly i think you guys are beautiful i think you guys are beautiful you think you're beautiful right so yeah okay let's just, let's just say you guys are beautiful but these companies be believe otherwise these companies would use you as shields prime example prime example we just talked about it moments ago right the bbc the captain bbc king bbc salute to captain bbc as always absolutely always salute to captain bbc but but you see he black so we gotta make him gay though they always use gay people black people lgbt people as shields to push their agenda to look good in in front of uh, you know they want to be waving flags they want to be waving flags and if you question it they're gonna play the phobic phobic game these suckers want to believe in more than two genders and i'm like yeah fine bro believe in five thousand ten thousand but these suckers don't want to believe in two different opinions you know this is where we at as a society right now and we're talking about black Ops 6 a game set in the 90s didn't need that it didn't need that you know what i'm saying but i'll say okay at least activision was not like pushing it pushing it but now you are the one pushing it actually and slots it sounds like you're the bigot i mean i mean is that a is that an ableist comment yourself i mean uh yeah. geez i mean you're you're, you're uh you're ugly phobic <laughs> if that's the case right is that a, is that the term i don't even know uh after london admitted the character does not look like her she then said this uh, that it doesn't care to her because what matters is representation Bruh. this is why representation Bruh. all right so uh, the a minute or two that i took to explain right just ask yourself ask yourself why these uh, companies make you guys look ugly okay well he or she just said it okay well it's not about that it's about being seen and being heard all right so it's not about that so they can openly like make you guys look ugly uh in front of the the entire world okay is that what you want all right fair 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 it isn't about a game it's about being seen and heard queer players have always been here why shouldn't we be seen in games we love in the face of all this hate i will always choose to stand with the lgbtq plus community plus is for pedophile no matter what the haters say i'm proud to be a part of this character and even prouder to live my life authentically and be surrounded plus is for what did he say i well i mean but is the brother wrong though his brother your brother spinning right now brother ain't wrong man brother ain't wrong man shout out to the homie john bro john he's a god's man he's a god's man by people who choose love over fear gosh it's so obnoxious these people just won't stop fear. together we are making change london added and to those who feel threatened by our existence i hope you can fight And in your heart to understand that our stories matter too. We're here making history. Okay, your story matters, but dog, you should not actively change history. Okay, this game is set in the 90s. We didn't have crap like that. You are literally changing. You're literally changing history. Just like the Captain BBC is changing the history while being in feudal Japan in the 1600s or uh, whatever the uh, actual correct era is. I believe it's 1608 correct me if i'm wrong right you know what i'm saying right it, it's uh, dog you guys you guys are changing history man you guys are changing history bro and we're not going anywhere well yikes uh this this lady is clearly insane and very very sad uh that she acts like this and tries to make this some kind of battle sort of ground uh for her whatever weird wokeness that she wants to indoctrinate everybody else into it's yeah. so crazy like they do this stuff intentionally like you like they said activision was actively seeking this out that means activision was actively seeking to piss off gamers or to try to like uh, manipulate gamers and, and try to change them i guess uh yeah, because yeah, they know yeah. that their their target audience wouldn't like this and they yeah, did yeah. it like with a big middle finger and then they say you're bad for not liking it even though they know you're not going to like it in advance and they do it intentionally just yeah. to agitate you and then they play victim over it like like you did something rather than them actually doing something mm -hmm. gosh it's absolutely insane yeah all the phobic phobic that that were used uh, that you saw it's like damn man you guys are being straight phobic though you guys are being human phobic let me just put it that way though 
you know like the video if you agree they are being human phobic on a human level they're being phobic to humans bro and how these people act as i said but i was very happy because in this TikTok video uh we actually were brought up uh and uh and let's see if i can get to this spot in it uh because i don't i, I don't know how TikTok works so it's a sister that joined the brotherhood right if i've uh, if i'm getting it right i don't know seems that way though it's like a sister it's hard like technology technology is advancing way too fast i i don't know if it's a sister or a brother anymore <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun. There we are. Here we are. Uh, here it is. Uh, they've gone full woke. Call of Duty woke train wreck with pronouns. And uh, again, I didn't direct any hate against this person. Yo, 58,000 uh, likes. You got. You are being seen more than all of us here right now, man. What the hell are we talking about, man? Like the video so I can also feel uh, seen. Guys, listen, man. I'm, I'm brown. I'm a little brown man. Uh, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel like a minority, man. I mean, of course I'm a minority, right? Like, there you go. There you go. Let me pull that out. Too. I feel, oh my God, I'm a minority. I need my representation, man. You guys are being phobic. You guys are being brown phobic to little brown men like me. Man, damn, man. If you're a white guy watching or if you're a black dude watching, you guys can also use this as well. You're being black phobic or you're being uh, white phobic crap like that. Of course, the other word is raw. I cannot say that word on YouTube, right? But, but yeah, right? You can just use that too, man. These suckers are being brown phobic, bro. Damn, man. These are, these people are being minority phobic right now. Damn, bro. Person, as much as this person says these things, I just called out the fact that this was in a video game. This is something that gamers don't want. It's something that doesn't make sense in the, in the terms of a black ops unit anyway, because guess what? You don't want somebody fretting over whether their pronouns are being respected when they're out there uh, dealing with jihadis out there and uh, and getting shot at in the streets. I mean, can you imagine uh, having something like this happening? Uh, that's the last person you'd want on your black ops squad and you'd be vetted. And another factor here, this is so true though, right? A couple of months ago, Activision added those trans bullets in the game right and, and this is sending like a real bad message to uh, to the world because of course in the united states i mean sadly you know school happens a lot okay it happens a lot and i believe in the last few months there were trans people doing it and again i'm gonna be fair i'm gonna be fair not all these uh, non-binary people are like that okay i'm gonna be honest but of course like in their opinion if you were to ask them they would say no everybody's against us the world is against us when it, that's not true right so i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think all the non-binary people would go out and become a school you cannot uh, blame the entire tree based off of one or two or three or maybe even four bad apples right yes school things happen and trans people were behind that crap right it happened multiple times right and i'm still gonna say not all of them are like this which is a fact not all of them are gonna do something like that not all of them are gonna be like this but ask yourself this so activision when there was so much heat about it activision added trans bullets in the game the what how, how, that sounds like a real bad message uh to the world that yeah all these people are gonna be doing school you know what i mean it's insane man it is crazy uh that this is what's going on bruh and of course what happened with concord tro truly truly wild guys check out this video on the screen uh this uh, <laughs> insane moment insane gaming moment right here I'm not sure if this video would still be up by the time you watch this or not. I don't know, but check it out. If you see it, you're lucky to see it. Check it out, and I'll see you right there, man.